Hello, St. Paul's. This is the COVID regulation and ministry update for Friday, February 18th. This Sunday, we will have our two services, our contemporary service at 9 a.m., our traditional service at 11 a.m. Both services are in person. You do still need to register for those, and both services will be live streamed. All of the links you need are found on our website, stpaulsottawa.com. As you are no doubt aware, regulations in the province of Ontario changed on the 17th, permitting uh, a freer movement of things and fewer regulations. It does have some impact upon the church. We are now allowed to have groups of up to 50 uh, in the church building, so that makes a change for a variety of things. Uh, and we are allowed to return to coffee time. So given that the session decided a long time ago that we would be following all of the OPH, the, the Ottawa Public Health and Provincial Regulations, we will be returning to coffee time this Sunday. So 9 o'clock service, 11 o'clock service, 10 o'clock for coffee. If you come to the first service, just stick around a little longer. If you come to the second service, come a little early and uh, enjoy some time together. Our limit now is 50 people. Uh, we will continue to check vaccination status, uh, that making coffee for, uh, for those who are fully vaccinated only, uh, at least for the next two Sundays, this week and the following week. So the new regulations that came out on the 17th impact us for the 20th and for the 27th. Again, as you are no doubt aware, further regulation changes are scheduled for March the 1st. Now, the session will be meeting next Tuesday evening to discuss this amongst a number of other issues. So I would encourage you to pray for the session for wisdom. Again, we have, uh, we have consistently held to the regulations. And so uh, there, there is a likelihood we will be opening up more. And uh, I just encourage prayer for that. The changes that are being proposed by the province would include that we would still need to be masking while in the building but it removes pretty much all of the other regulations in terms of physical distancing and capacity limits and so on. So please, prayer for the session, and we will let you know as soon as those decisions are made about how we will be moving forward starting in March. We give thanks to the Lord that we are moving in a good direction. Reminder that Saturday, February 26th, is our winter fun day. You'll find information in the e-news and the bulletin. We will have registration for our various events, including downhill skiing, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and skating, and board games at the church. So we ask you to register in advance for those so that we know how many people we can expect. We're also intending to gather together at the church building afterwards. We uh, have made an application for a fire permit so that we would do that in the lot beside the church, the lot the church owns, uh, but that's not a guaranteed thing. The inspection will be taking place today, and uh, we're not sure what the end result will be for that. But even if we're not allowed to do that, we will gather back to the church. We are allowed up to 50 people, and we'll come together for some hot chocolate and those kinds of things to cap off our day. So that's Saturday, February 26th. We'll be gathering back to the church at 4 p.m. Different activities will be beginning at different times, but probably around 2 o'clock or so. That's all I have for you today. The Lord bless you and keep you.